I want to like be as far away from the business as possible before I can actually go and conceptualize an album because otherwise I start to uh, compromise and I feel like uh, compromise is kind of what kills the creativity. Usually uh, the process is uh, me just taking a lot of time off, first and foremost, to like figure out where I want to take it. You know, I, I need to have a very visual uh, and conceptual idea of what the album's going to be. Once I have the uh, visual direction, I kind of go in and make the music. So I, I kind of already know what songs I want to make before going in there. So I don't go into the studio and just sit and like figure things out. It's so easy to add stuff. You know, it's, it's easy to sit and you, something's missing in the mix and you just, let, let's add a guitar riff or let's add a, another bass note or let's add more drums or tones or... But it's like you're cooking a meal. The more you add, the less you can identify what the taste is. The more I'm limiting these tracks, the better chance I have of getting the mix right, getting the sound right, because I'm, I'm removing all the stuff that kind of doesn't make sense. Sometimes you use a top kick and a low kick and, and kind of make that work, but first and foremost, it's like, is this the right kick? How does it sound? And then I kind of work the track around that. So I start with the kick and the subs or the bass, and then when that's tight, it's easier for me to tighten everything else because I kind of separate it so the, the high notes are separated. The mid synths won't have any high notes in it. It would just be in the mid and just place it. And it eventually it will sound really big, but you just gotta like be very gentle and, and less is always more when it comes to the mix. Looking at your technology here, it's becoming easier to make speakers work in a room. It's just hassle-free and it, it, it just saves me a lot of effort and time and it doesn't become this data thing where you're just sitting there with some kind of, you know, a solution to what it's supposed to be like. You just have that same initial idea that you loved and you can just tap in and just work with it straight away. I can finish a song and a mix and a production in a day because I know what it sounds like and I can just leave the studio and feel like, okay, this is done. I don't ever have to question it. It's really uh, nice for once, you know? Should we kill the music? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Nay. Nice. <laughs> kill the music. Oh, it's me in studio. <laughs> it's 